Hey, Turtle Club, good evening. It is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Friday night, and we're starting a new Friday night thing called Community Night. We, uh, we have some other things planned outside of what Free For All Friday used to be, and more details will, of course, be coming up as we get closer and closer to May. Uh, since we had done a really poor job of keeping track of everything that people were putting forward to the streams, we had the huge change on the layout and all that, it just seemed like the only fair thing to do would be to, you know, go forward with a, a free game that's on Nintendo Switch. Um, we were thinking about Smash Brothers, but there's been a couple of you out there that asked, Hey, Mag, have you played Brawlhalla? And my answer's always been, uh, no. So this is a game that's been recommended by a number of people, and it is a Smash Brothers clone, for lack of a better term. I have not played it at all. I, I got it set up. I got into this particular room. It's a friend's private room. You can see the room number. From what I've seen, that basically means that our friends can join with us if they have the game. And if they have the name of the, the room number, they can join as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool from what I've been able to see so far. All the characters are very off the cuff and kind of kind of interesting. They're I've been looking around and there's a couple of names that I kind of recognize ish by looking through. Um, who is the crossover character? Oh, there's Raymond. Of course, this is an Ubisoft game, so him being in it's kind of like oh well, he's, he's Raymond. Um, there's Thor. I mean, everybody knows who Thor is. It's not the Marvel Thor, but it is Thor as far as, you know, lore would go, right? Um, it's very, from reading everything on it, on the characters at least, it's very inspired by the culture of Norse mythology. Um... And then we get to some weird people like Cassidy, who has, you know, dual wielding pistols. Um, Sigarda, or Sidra, who's got a, a cannon, it looks like. So, i hopefully be joining in a bit. Uh, play a few games of Hearthstone first. Okay. Cool beans, no worries, man. Hearthstone's fun. Oh, Sally coming in, lurking, CDI, and all right. Uh, Cross looks kind of cool, in my opinion. I, I don't know anything about the character yet, other than... He, he looks like a, a 1950s mobster with a, a coin. And he's got some sort of hand wrap and some sort of pistol. And it looks like an assist thing, a majig. So we're, uh, we're, we're going to go with Cross. Oh, well, that was neat. Um, okay. So he's got like a gauntlet. All right, so we'll, we'll see what this character plays like um, while we're waiting for the room to kind of fill in a bit. I wonder if they all... Oh, so they all have like little intros. I kind of like that. And I do like the different coloring. They do have skins. They do have weapons. Um, and you can actually get additional ones from what I've seen. There is... Oops, that's not what we want to do. We don't want to spectate. We're just kind of watching all these other intros. Just to see what they kind of look like when they... The voice acting's pretty good, too. Taros. Okay. I, I, I gotta say, I kind of like the Minotaur, also. What's his uh, color schemes? Oh, wait, what? So he's get, he gets a sledgehammer and an axe. Oh, that's... Boyfriend is coming over soon, so you're just going to chill while you wait? Oh, no. No worries there at all. No worries at all there. And it's, thank you again, Sally, for all the help this morning's stream. That was that was extremely, extremely happy to, to finally get all that taken care of. Uh, those of you that may be viewing this and hadn't caught the actual Twilight Princess stream this morning, our Twilight Biscuits, we got all of our pose done. We've got Roll Goal completed. All that's left tomorrow is some Hyrulean Bassmasters before we go to take on the final castle. We're going to go around the world of Hyrule, catch all the fish that there is to catch. That's the very last thing we have to collect, other than a uh, what's called the Sinker Lore, which supposedly is gotten, according to 
gosh, it was like 14, 15 streams ago. Someone said, oh, you get that after you catch all the fish. So we're looking forward to that, to have that done. And then next Friday is going to be like the end of the game. So that's, uh, that's where we're looking. Um, we should have this beaten by the end of April. So that's, you know, oh, we, we didn't actually activate Sidra. Oh, like a little squid tentacle. That was interesting. Oh, she's a pirate. Like, gets a cutlass and everything. Huh. We, we might check him out, too. Because he looks kind of cool. Uh, spear in this sacred relic thing. But I definitely want to go with cross first. All right, guys. And again, room is 65019. It's in the description. It's in the title. Um, in a second, it'll probably be right in our lower section of... Uh, boom. We're just doing some real quick, cheaty stuff. And six five zero one nine. Bam! There we go. And that'll rotate enough. I'm 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 just glad we have people in the community that are able to help out like that. All right, and I wonder if there's a way that we can play while waiting. I know if we back out of this, the room number goes away. Hmm. I don't know quite what all these things in the upper right corner are. I'm guessing it's like messages and stuff. Uh, oh, the trigger does things. Neat. Only one trigger, or is my controller not working the right way? Oh, the left trigger does just the color no matter what. Okay, interesting. Well, that may be a, a knock against this particular game. Oh, here's our settings. Time, strikeout, brawl ball. Oh, there's like different modes. Kung foot with the soccer ball. Brawl ball with the football. Horde mode. Snow, snow brawl. Dodge bomb. Okay, these kind of look fun. I think we'll definitely go with stock first, though. And of course, there's the, the lobby rules. Uh, oh! Interesting. Does tournament brackets too. Of course, we do have it set to the the U.S. East. Interesting how they use the California flag for West and the U.S. flag for the East. Uh, well, it says I can add bots, so let's go ahead and just add some bots here. And that way we should be able to to just jump in. All right. Now we can we can kind of get an idea of what we're about to fight up and and get an idea of what the buttons do because we have no clue what the buttons do. Three, two, one, draw. All right. So these. All right. And all right. So up does not jump. Uh, looks like B jumps. Okay. All right. Okay, so why grabs a weapon? Oh, and all the swords are our weapons, so we actually have to grab our weapon. All right. So what's this? All right. So this is our so A is special. It looks like, or maybe not. Uh, okay. I'm I'm so confused. 
Uh, oh, we can wall climb? That's cool. Dominating. All right. So the AI definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. So when you knock somebody out, I wonder if it makes them drop their weapon. Alright, so it looks like... Definitely dropped their weapon then. All right. Oh, here we go. Still not 100% sure what all the buttons do, but we are definitely having a pretty good time of it. Uh, the stage looks pretty neat. Whoa, Nelly. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so I lost my weapon. So it looks like you lose your weapon as soon as you get hit so many times. And smash this. So the name of the game definitely is grab the weapon as quickly as you can. And and hope for the best. Alright, so so it's just me and this werewolf now, it looks like. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's my that's my third death. Okay. So interesting. Interesting. Uh, so you have a GG button even. That's neat. Inspect does nothing, I guess. Oh, experience points. And the currency. Alright, so. That works out pretty decent. Um, so we did say that we were hoping to... What? How did that go? Well, we got to change all of it. Hey, Slacky Moo, how's it going? We are playing some Brawlhalla in room 93264 now because we, like an idiot... Push the wrong button. All right, so now we got all the stuff updated. I right, confirm that. Okay, so free to play on Switch. I think we're gonna try the the bull out. Uh, I think we go with brown, um, so we can go ahead and manage party, add bots. What game is this? It's Brawlhalla. It's a Smash Brothers clone. Uh, free to play on Nintendo Switch, and it is so far it's pretty good. Um, I've only played against bots though, so uh, you do have to have Nintendo Switch Online to play, I would presume. But it is otherwise free, no price for the download, and it downloaded pretty quick. Uh, it took like maybe five minutes on my internet connection. It's by Ubisoft, uh, the same people who gave us Rain Man. Um, you see these characters are unlocked. I just got some currency, uh, which we'll, we'll probably look at the currency store this game has about 10 o'clock-ish um, to kind of get an idea of what two hours of gameplay can kind of get for us. It allows bots with people to jump in before we go. So that's cool, too. Um, Taros, okay. 
And, oh, we got the vote for map. So we can actually go through and pick a map. Well, go with the Labyrinth, right? I mean, we're the Minotaur. So, oh, there's a training mode, too, it looks like. Three, two, one, crawl. But you start off in the fight area. And then you pick up a weapon. And pick up items. Whoa, that's that's dangerous. Okay, you definitely hit real hard though. And the wall climbing is kind of cool. I gotta admit that I like the wall climbing. After you've been hit for a few turns, you actually lose your weapon. So I, I kind of like that aspect of it too. And each character has their own weapon. Oh, I like the stage design here. Oh, oh, you can throw weapons. Okay. Now we're talking. So I can get rid of my weapon if I don't actually think it's good for the, the situation. All right. This whole mess up here. Oh, it looks like I could catch my weapon, maybe? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to get wrecked. Okay. Where am I at? All right. Okay, bounce these guys. I do like the fact he's got a spike. Oh. Double knockout. Interesting. I don't know what the knockouts and double knockouts and all that mean yet, but... If, if the netcode's any good, this game, I could see easily replacing Smash. As the fact of fighting game. I mean, there's a lot of people that have been talking really good stuff about it. I mean, it's available on all the consoles. Oh. Rip. <laughs> let's, let's bounce some people. All right. It does miss. I, I do miss the smash attacks. So that that is something that. I like the throw and re-grab weapon thing, which is cool. Hey, McAdoo! Oh, he's... Oh, come on. Come on. I think he's toast? Is he toast? He's toast. All right. Two types of attacks, heavy and light. Okay. So I kind of picked up on that a little bit. Um, and then there's like normal right I'll get slow clapped that's funny slow clapped by the NPCs we got to level up we got some more in-game currency some more experience so that's pretty cool yeah it's been out it's it's actually uh, it's definitely not a new game as far as overall um, it did come to switch last and as of the last thing I read, cross-platform is only available between PlayStation and computer. Uh, it's not available between the other things yet. I'm presuming it's only a matter of time, and it would probably be like PC, PS4, and Xbox Switch. Because Xbox and Switch have that thing that they've you know got going together. Um, let's see here. I guess we just try all the free characters we have. Uh, the little elf that we were looking at kind of looked pretty cool, too. Uh, we'll go with the blue elf. Hello, Kim. Welcome to the channel. Um, 
there's only one character I recognize from another game, and that's Rayman. It is an Ubisoft game. Other than that, it's all Norse mythology, which kind of gives it a cohesive feel. All the characters seem to have uh, a pretty good mix and variety from what I'm seeing as to what they should be capable of. All right. So, yeah, we're definitely going to go with this particular character and switch over the colors to... Oh, there's... Yeah, I just I think it's that blue that I really like. Yeah. And we'll see what this one's capable of. Again, guys, I guess everyone gets different free characters. Um, I think so. I or at the very least, uh, Posh, it may be a rotating roster because I know games like this, like uh, League of Legends and Heroes of the Storm and all those kind of games, they do a a rotation. And what's going on over there? Ah, okay. They do a rotation. That way you kind of get an idea of different characters. And when your favorite character rotates out, it entices you to go off and purchase that character. Um, and again, I, I don't know anything about the store. We're going to take a look at the store at like 10 o'clock after we've been playing for about two hours. So let's go ahead and get a, a feel for Dusk. He seems like he has a cool name for the at the very least. Um, the thing wild looks like a, a stadium. Fate Sentinel Zul. All right. And they seem to have like uh, realms that they're fighting Three, for or something. Two, one, this looks very Final Destination y. And I, as a general rule, don't do good on Final Destination stages. All right. Um, all right. I need to get a weapon. At the very least. All right. Now I can fight a little bit better. Okay. Get out. So pretty much standard mechanics from what I can tell. Um... Oh, you can charge your throws. Well, isn't that awesome? Your item throws can be charged. At least this guy's item throws can be charged. Um, uh, say what? I don't think so. I'm trying to... Oh, ouch. Okay, I guess they got it. <laughs> All right, between the two, I definitely prefer the spear of his two weapons. Oh, there's a bomb. We, we know for for all intents and purposes, I should never have anything that explodes when used. Several bombs. Okay. Let's just take care of this guy, maybe. Get away from this bomb. Um, that was... Okay, that works. I kind of wish I could hit the, the spike ball. Yeah, the spear is good for attacks, but not so much for, like, anything else. Like, the throwing is, is iffy. Come on. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, too. Dominating. Oh, oh, that was a pretty good shield technique you got there. Oh, oh, okay. He's he's got only one life left. Oh, that, 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 that might, oh, oh, got some air recovery, all right. Oh, wolf, all right. 
So is this like a throw button otherwise? Because I saw somebody threw me. I don't know how they did it. Ugh. No, no. All right. Time to just stick with him. All right, come on. He's pretty good at combo resets, too. All right, let's get some heavy hits. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Cool. All right. So, it said we leveled up. I guess level zero is the first level, maybe? All right, so we'll go next. Still the same room number. Yeah, 93264. All right, guys. We're going to chill here for just a few moments. I, I'm hoping... GG, thank you for the GG, McAdoo. Really appreciate that. No, it says I'm level two here, but it says I'm level one there. Okay, so maybe I'll level up per character also. Yeah, that looks like that might be it. Um, yeah, we get levels per character. All right. So we'll just keep going round robin with the characters here. Cannon, Cutlass. This thing, which looks to be... Does absolutely nothing except for just... Uh, Congratulations, you get something that's cool. Um, so we'll go with Sidra next and see. So far, I, I really like the the bull. I like what he was capable of. It was pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and fire this guy up. I, I presume that people that join in that can spectate, I should see some kind of indication that they're there. Let's try the Great Hall. I like the voting thing, too. It's kind of nifty. Um, Alright. So... So Cutlass is what we was hoping to grab because the, the melee weapons seem to be far better than the non-melee so far, in my opinion. But that's that's just my opinion, though. My, my playstyle may be better suited to it. Alright. Oh, I like the, the heavy attack she's got. The the octopus tentacle coming out of the, wall, the floor is, is kind of fun. Oh, Okay, so everybody appears that they can charge their attacks when they throw their weapon. Alright, so now we got cannon. So I'm guessing the heavy attack is where she... Alright. Alright, so that's an anti-air. It's like an anti-everything, which is pretty good. Okay, that charges. I like charge attacks. So that kind of charges too. Alright, so now we're just forced to like start hitting people with the cannon. Like, not the cannon shells, just the cannon itself. And throw the cannon at people? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. I still haven't used this horn a lot. And it looks like I won't be. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. I'm definitely, definitely, oh, ah, blasted out. Okay. The color coding's pretty cool, too. Instead of having to worry about numbers, I can just see my number by looking at the color, which is fairly, fairly good for those that just want the information now and not have to do math, right? If I can see that I'm in the white, then I know I'm okay. And as the color gets closer and closer to red, I know I should be more and more concerned.
And I do like how the, the heavy attack are on both sides of the of the actual other attack buttons, like the jump and the other thing. Alright, I think we just Oh, that was cool. So I actually summoned a assist. Oh, he got right in my hitbox, and that was all she wrote. Okay. Okay, I'm okay with that if they're on the platform, but no, 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 no. I do not need a double poker sandwich thing. Scythe and... And water she's welding. It's like a trident? Okay. Trident's pretty bad too. Alright. Get my cutlass out, because I do far better with it in my opinion. You hit harder with the, the cannon, obviously, right? I mean it's a cannon. Why wouldn't you? But I think hitting faster is much more important in this game than hitting harder for, for my playstyle. Come here, Wolfie. Oh, no, no, no. Splat. All right. Dominating. And it's the cannon, of course, because it alternates from what I can tell. Oh, it looks like I'll get the win from just self-destructing. I still like the slow clap at the end. That's still pretty funny. Alright, so we've done Sidra, Dusk, so Yumiko. What colors do we have there? Wait. Okay, I see what's going on. Like if I do that and then that. Alright. I, I kind of like the, the white and red garb. I'll go with her, her default color there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and fire this up. Three live stock settings, still the same room. Okay. Oh, so she's a, a Kitsune. Interesting. The characters have cool designs. I agree. I, I uh, very nice and stylish. Um, very appropriate for like the the overall vibe they're kind of going with. Three, two, one, um, okay, so she's got a bow. All right. Whoa, this is going to be a trickier character than I think I can handle. But. Yeah, that's it's interesting because she she has this teleport shot thing. Okay, let's see what her other. All right, here we go. Here's her melee. Hey, T Mac, how's it going, buddy? All right, so this is definitely interesting. We'll just uh throw our weapon at him. Throw a weapon at him, and then we'll go over here and grab another weapon and throw our weapon at him. We'll go over here, grab another weapon, and we'll throw our weapon at him, and throw our weapon at him. <laughs> and then we'll summon a, an avenging archangel. And we'll get away from them, and we'll throw our weapon at them, and we'll throw this bomb at them. We'll throw everything at them. We just throw stuff, guys. <laughs> this character? No. No. All about know this character. Um, take that. Take that. Still pretty disappointed that this character doesn't really have a, a good. I mean, I, I guess they were really worried about her being a zone character. All right. Someone catch that weapon. And you catch. Oh, I missed.
I, okay, so she kicks and she hits and she spins. And then she does this little charge thing, which still doesn't seem good. That might be good, though. We might get somebody to hit that bomb. What's her... Okay, so she's got this uppercut thing. Okay. Oh, no. I think we're done. I think we're done. Ouch. Alright. Oh, cool. RFG's a good channel, too. I, I catch her stuff whenever I can. Her crafting stuff's really fun to watch. Adds to Stardew Valley. Okay. You two are chasing each other, and it's just not working out for me. Alright. Almost as fast enough to pick it back up. That's going to be a bow, which we're going to beat him up, beat her up, throw the bow, because we don't like the bow at all, so we can go ahead and grab our, our sledgehammer. Alright, so it looks like when you throw the weapon, they have to be slightly outside of your hitbox. Otherwise, it doesn't hit them. Alright, well, that's important to know. Oh. Leave me alone. All I wanted to do was throw things at people. Oh, not this thing. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, no. Okay. Why do you need to catch this? Nope. Okay. So, it's me versus the bull, huh? All right. Is that my sledgehammer? It is. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Whew. Oh, no, no, no. I think that's... Yep, that was Smasher Rooney. Okay. I don't know if I'd say dominating, but he's definitely hurting me. He was. Now I've got the ultimate weapon. Well, I had the ultimate weapon. Oh, look at that dodge. Look at that dodge. Come on up here. I want to say hi. Actually, that will work. Oh, no, that was not who I wanted to blow up with that. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, th this is a lot of Smash, yes. And it's free to play, T-Mac, which is what makes it really good, in my opinion. Um, it, it definitely, it's fun. It's free to play. We got a new color unlocked. I wonder if that's with everybody. Thanks for the GD. Oh, there. All right. Oh, that's cool. 423 hertz. Oh, that's not too bad. At all. Um, let's see here. So, do we have... Oh, so we got an extra color all the way over. Hey, and CD Ions joined in. Sweet. All right. So have we done this character yet? We have not. We'll go ahead with the brown color. And now we're going to chew up and see how this goes with a real person to fight. Um... So I've chosen Mr. 
Maybe, maybe uh, Posh hasn't chosen yet. There it goes, possibly. All right, I'm just going to vote for random. The maps all seem to be pretty well balanced. Thunderguard. Wuxing and Baraza. A Wu Shandroid. Okay, that's kind of funny. Instead of an android. Three, two, one, All right. Oh wait, whoa, whoa! I'm not that character. I'm not that character. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> right? That, that's why I can't move. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that's all right, Posh. No worries. Oh, that's another gun user. Oh no, daggers. Looks like drill daggers or something. Okay. All right, throw that away. Oh, I almost got the the horn of, of Valhalla. Okay, another spear user. We are good to we are good to use spears. Her spear throw is weird. Okay, that's weird. All right, so daggers it is for now, and get away from Posh while he's got that lance. Going to have supper. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out, Mac. I do really appreciate it. All right. Ugh. I wonder, I, I would guess that I can't pick up other people's weapons. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. No. Wall climb like a champ. Oh, oh. Getting wrecked by Posh. That uh, that lance is something else. All right. Oh come on, whatever this guy is. Oh, ouch. All right, where am I at? Okay. Um. Oh, that's where I'm at. Okay. Let's jump. Throw the spear. Run away from the horn. Run away from the horn. I do like the way that the weapons alternate. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can't be afraid of Posh all the time, right? I gotta eventually, like, own up to the fact that they're better than me and just start charging them. Or I can just let the Valkyrie do it for me. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I just chill on the wall here for a while. Just let fate kind of decide it. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Posh. Bye-bye. Oh, no! And I'm out. Wuxing! The Wush Android took me down. Oh, Posh has got a one-on-one -on -one against Barraza. I feel like I'm game-calling for ESPN the Ocho. But it is what it is. Actually, watch Posh at, at his strategy here. That's, wow. Pretty good stuff there. And GG to Posh. Even though we lost, though, we get a little bit of experience points. So I'm okay with that. I mean, that's a, that's a really good system. That's a really good system. We, we definitely... All right. Uh, we have not done... So, I like the fact we can see the experience, so we can kind of get an idea of who we played. Wait, how did our experience wipe? Is it because we're actually playing against real people now? Maybe. Oh, uh, well, we got some Yumiko. I mean... Interesting. Alright, so it looks like Roland... Is the character we have yet to play? Oh wait, we haven't played Mordex yet, so we can play Mordex. And we don't have the brown color with Mordex. 
Weird. So maybe he doesn't have a brown color. All right, so we'll, we'll choose blue for, like, you know, Talbin from Darkstalkers. XP doesn't travel between characters. Well, I, I know that, but we did have several characters that actually had some XP. And they weren't showing that. Like, we have experience with Cross, and he shows he's just level 1 still. So we know our, our first weapon is probably going to be the scythe. Oh, okay. Let's, let's get away from the sword-wielding juggernaut that is Posh at the moment. And let's uh, play the horn. Okay, and I know from playing against this guy that he's got a pretty cool grab attack with his scythe. I'll, I'll be uh, really hard-pressed to figure it out, though, I guess. Interesting. All right. Come on, drop him down here. Oh, that wasn't good for Posh. Oh, that wasn't good for me either. Ah, oh, nothing's good for anybody. There is no main character. Everybody dies. The end. Oh, it's it's me on. All right. Maybe these guys would like to beat each other senseless. Rip you. I know, man. I looked, and all of a sudden, the Golden Warrior was gone. I'm like, what happened? Uh, oh, we weren't wanting to do that. We weren't to... Oh, here we go. That should definitely at least ruin his breakfast. All right, so it juggles, and then we can heavy attack juggle? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Come here. No two-on-ones, but... Or maybe maybe we, we, maybe we can go for the two-on-one. All right. Uh, juggle, 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 juggle. Up in the air, juggle. Uh... Anyone who has an air juggle that's easy to do is usually pretty broken in games like this. Oh. Now we're in the red. We don't like being in the red. I notice there's no healing items, which definitely is different from Smash. Okay, well, these guys both have one life left. Oh, pfft. okay. I was going to just let them duke it out for a bit. Weird how in Smash you prefer stock battles, but here you prefer time. Interesting. Alright, is this... Is my scythe? Alright, my scythe. Alright, come on. I'm, I, I like the scythe. The scythe is pretty good, in my opinion. Up, 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 up. Boom. Come on, land. You gotta come down sometime. Oh no, 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 no. Why didn't anybody tell me how to dive kick? It would have been important information though a while back. Like, be careful, dude's got a dive kick. Alright, come on. Why is it so zoomed away? Because there's a weapon up there. Okay. Ah, coming back over this way. Come on up here. Come on up here. All 
Uh, there we go. I Mordex is pretty good. I uh, I definitely enjoy what he's capable of. It's definitely uh, definitely a way to go about it. Hmm. So I, I think we're gonna stick with Mordex for a little bit. And I'm presuming, Posh, the, the different weapons um, basically all boil out to different um, things. Like, just, just cosmetics. If I had to guess. chosen my character, right? No, I hadn't chosen my character. Okay, that was all on me that time. But yeah, I like, at 9 o'clock, I guess we'll switch it over to time mode and do like 5-minute rounds, maybe? The Great Hall of Valhalla. I definitely want to not be down there where all the action is. Definitely don't want the, the gauntlets. We want the, the scythe. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh, someone else gets to use a scythe? I'm jealous. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, so he's the one that has the scythe grab attack. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what first strike was. I guess that's I took the first person down somehow. Maybe I was the last person to hit, which makes sense. Okay, some of those big, big chuckable weapons I'm I'm jealous of too. I like being able to throw things. the horn stay away from the horn stay away from the ouch that was the horn right to the face I'm in the red which is never good for me oh I don't think it, I don't think anyone's actually ever good in the red oh that that took me a while to come down all right maybe we go to the, the ground then Oh, nice one, Posh. Nice one. Have to head out? Alright, well, thanks for sticking around with us. Really appreciate it, Sally. Enjoy your date night. Oh, that was a calculated risk, and it did not pay off. Let's get away. Scythe, come say hi. J-Man, welcome to the channel. My name's Mag Synchro, and this is our community fight night. A real easy way to play. Just make sure you've got Brawlhalla, which is free on Switch. And then send me a friend code request, which can be done by asking Nightbot what my actual service codes are. Uh, right now, we have about seven different services we're part of. I th or, or eight? We got six on there, and the switch is one of them, so. Ah, ah. Posh with that charge attack. Okay. Okay, we know exactly what we're doing now.
we're, we're letting Posh and this dude duke it out because we are we're definitely not matched well to Posh at this moment. Okay. Okay, we think we might have a chance to get this NPC if it's scythe to scythe. Um, whoa, maybe not. All right. Okay, come on. Okay, so say it's. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so now we'll go. We'll go gauntlets. We don't know much to do with these gauntlets, but. We're hoping that, oh, looks like we can really do some damage to him. Oh, we missed. We missed again. Hold on to our side for us, please. And you know what? Hold on to our gauntlets, too. Boy, man, this guy is, like, in the brown. He's not even in the red anymore. Did I get him? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, we got him. Slow clap. GG's, everybody. Thank you for the GG there, Posh. New color unlocks. So, the color unlockings per character. Cool to know. Ah, he still looks good as a, as a blue guy. And let's go ahead and really quickly... Nope, nope, not that button. This button. Have we had any friend requests? Nope, no friend requests. So we're still playing with the guys that we have. All right. Oh, Ryan. Hmm. Got wrecked by Orion last time Posh played Orion, so... Batch and Nash. Batch looks kind of cool. Three, two, one, brawl. All right. Okay, we'll get these gauntlets so we can get rid of them. Oh, come on. And we got the scythe. Oh, I don't think we want to fight Posh, though. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe, we, maybe we've got the Posh. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Maybe we can get wrecked, maybe? I mean, ugh. Oh, no. And I went from that small spear to that giant lance. That giant lance has so many good attacks. And they get him out of trouble, like, super fast, too. Oh. Wow. I am... Might have smashed Posh. All right, that, that worked pretty good. Brings everybody up to two. Grab these gauntlets because they seem to work better against Posh's character. Because the, oh. Some, that was some gross juggle. Oh! Dominating. Dominating. Orion. Yes, he is. Well, maybe not now, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, Ryan's still at two, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 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 Okay, oh. Posh has a whole entire other life after this, though, guys. I th oh. Oh. Taunts. Oh! Ah, oh, he got me. GG, Posh. GG. That was impressive. That was, that was nice. That was nice. All right. And Turtle Club, it is 9 o'clock, which means we're moving modes from stock over to timed. So, oh yeah, GG on that. So we go to settings. Uh, settings. Oh, can we not change it? Looks like we can't change it. It might be because you're still choosing, I guess, Posh. I don't know. Um, well, we thought we were going to be able to change the game, so I think we're going to have to dump the room to change the system. That's, that's a little unfortunate. But, you know, for a free game, I'm willing to put up with a lot of stuff. Okay, so there's some sort of weird thing there. Oh, it's that scythe dude again. Different outfit, though. Okay. Uh, oh, no. We'll hang over here for a while until someone wants to come say hi. It's a cheap strategy, but it's effective. I mean, that's the one thing about Smash that, you know, it seems to be a bit faster paced than this game. Well, that was cool. Ah, splat. Well, safety didn't really plan out that way. Um... Oh. Oh, that was almost really bad. Uh, not so good for him either. Alright, so. So neutral, neutral up, and then. Okay. Neutral, neutral up, slash, slash. Bam. Neutral, neutral up, neutral. Oh, whoa! That's a pokey stick, if I ever saw one. That was good, Bosh. Weird. Catch. So 
I'm gonna catch it. I don't care who, just somebody. Uh, I didn't want to catch it. I guess I should have stated that. Was anybody but me catching would be fine. Neutral, neutral. Oh, okay. Get away, get away. Let these two duke it out. I was hoping Posh was going to be the winner of that, but oh well. Neutral, neutral. Wait. Neutral. Okay. Neutral, neutral. Up. Follow up. Hey! Awesome. We, we come out on top on that one. We did it through, like, questionable means, but we came out on top. Hey! New stance unlocked. Okay. Alright, so we are going to go back. We are going to close the room. And confirm settings lobby. We're gonna go to private. Same thing on all that. We are gonna change the number again because I don't know what's up with the number thing, but. It is what it is. I, I, I guess I don't understand it. All right, got the room thing there, and now game rules. We're going to timed. We'll do five minute matches. Auto? I've set um, auto, I think. Okay, confirm. All right, so back to our wolf. So. Oh, you can change his stats. That is gross. I like that. I like that a lot. Like, wow. Good show, Brawlhalla. That, that's, that's, that's the way to do it. Just, who cares about game balance? Let your player base do it for you. Oh, I forgot to add the bots. Okay, I'm about to get wrecked. Like, super wrecked. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh, 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 okay. Get away from the weapon. Get away from the weapon. No, he's got a weapon now. This is not good. I got a scythe. I got a chance. Oh. Nope. No bomb for Posh. Uh, doesn't look good for the home team. Zone attacks, nest defense. All right. I was able to get my juggle off. That was pretty good. Oh, wait, what? That was lag. I, I did not care for that. All right. Can we get the juggle again? Probably not. Ugh. 
Oh, wow. What's, what's up with that? Like, do I lose a, a win every time I knock somebody out? Or something? Because I know I had a knockout. That's, that's going to make things really rough. We'll have to figure it out. If we, if we manage to knock out Posh. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, oh wow, okay, so that's definitely different. I guess I could force a draw, but where's the fun in that? Playing a rushdown character. We don't force draws. Tiebreaker. Oh, no, 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 no. As soon as he gets a weapon, I know we're toast, so we have to just... Oh no, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, good game, Posh. Oh my gosh. That was... That was intense. That was intense. Alright, so now we'll... Go and add some bots. <laughs> Yay. All right. And. Oh, we can up the difficulty or lower the difficulty. Interesting. And it looks like Posh is left. Add another bot. Gonna take a break. All right. Well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna keep playing this, but I think we're gonna back out for a second because there was something over here that seemed interesting. And I, I I don't know what all difference it does, but oh wait a second, change my stance out. All right. So right trigger stances and left trigger. Okay. That explains it. it was a, I was like, huh, I wonder if this does our... It does. All right. So, blue, ready for battle. So, this apparently is some kind of...
Um, doesn't seem to be what I thought it was. It's supposed to be some sort of... Is this like a practice mode, I guess? Yeah, searching for players. Okay. Kind of sad. Alright. So, neutral, neutral up. So wave one, weapons coming in. Hello, Hero One Michael. How's it going, buddy? Alright, so this is surviving the hordes of Ragnarok, I guess. We have a collective score, it looks like. Cool. And we get uh, scores per kill. Alright. Alright, so for this we definitely don't want the uh, gauntlets, we're going to take the scythe. Because the scythe has some pretty good, outstanding reach in my opinion. And definitely some, some good hitting power. This is kind of nifty. I like the, uh, I like co-op. Um, so having a co-op horde mode is pretty cool, I think. So far, these things are fairly easy to knock out. We had a player just connect. Wow. Oh, if they get to the door, they, they do damage to the door. Okay, interesting. So, forget about score. We're just going to guard the, the entryway. Seems like more important. Oh, is that a boss? It's a boss. Oh, cool. I like the boss character. That's, that's a neat little aspect of it. Don't like the fact we have to fight him and the cronies at the same time. So now they're yellow. So they're faster? Is that what's going on? They probably hit the door for more too. I don't know if they're actually doing damage to the door. The door might be simply just progressing. Oh wow. Uh, no, they're hitting they're actually hitting the door. Okay. What's going on? Oh, okay. Confused. All right. So we're gonna go back to custom game room. That was neat, but uh, not neat enough, I think. All right. So we're gonna go back to private. We're gonna update the room number, guys. Posh is taking a break, and that's always a good idea. After you play video games for a while, you should take a break. Um, that's just sitting down for a while, take a break. Um, watching TV for a while, take a break. You know, these things are to help rest your eyes, to help get you in the in good area, that kind of thing. 
All right, and we're gonna go to game rules. Uh, max players eight. Time battle for five minutes. And look at that, guys. Just wow. All righty. Now we're talking. Eight players. Are you are you looking at this Nintendo? Eight people at once on your hardware on your Nintendo Switch Online. Four of them are bots. Four of them are people, maybe. But we'll find out. We will absolutely find out. All right, we are done with that. Gonna go to our boy, the Wolf Man. Well, can we no longer switch his stance? Oh, we're on his stance. Okay. Oh, that's weird. The triggers are actually working the way I expect them to now. Interesting. This is probably gonna be really bad for me. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna why not? Look at all these names. Look at all these people. Look at all those portraits up there. Look at me just chilling over here on my little island, hoping no one finds me. Grabbing my gauntlets. Getting rid of my gauntlets. I want to get rid of my gauntlets, but she won't let me. Come on, lady with the sword. Let me get rid of my gauntlets. Up, up, see Daisy. Do lots of attacks, hit crazy people. And then run away. Throw my scythe. Throw a bomb. Blow myself up because that's what we do. Just let that chill there. Look at this. Weapons galore. I gotta say, I'm not really keen on the fact that the bomb placements do despawn, but, you know, um, the pacing's, you know, a little slower, too, so I, I would think that the bomb placement may stay, but I don't know. I do have to knock people out in time mode. I can't just hide. So there is that, right? Wow, look at that, that person with the uh, the triangle hat. That whatever the character is, they are they are racking up the kills. I mean I Don't think it's Captain D over here, whatever his name is. Hmm. For this many players, I think we definitely want to do stock battle. And the only reason why I say it is because it's so chaotic. And I think knocking people out should be rewarded with being less chaotic. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this fight. Oh my gosh, look at that. 12 kills. Yeah, stock battle, I mean, definitely a way to go. Because, I mean, if you can imagine someone just going through a tear early on in time battle, you just have no chance to catch up really to them. Is that an old Orion? That's funny. Like a, a Grandpa Orion. That's, 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 he's got the same pike thing that Posh has beaten me with, kinda. Oh, no. Oh. Down. Hmm. 
Apparently I did knock somebody out though, because I was not uh was not at negative at less than two, so that's good. Okay, I think in the middle of all this melee we just want the reach that Scythe gives. And the combo potential that we've unlocked with it. Oh, of course we just get bashed all the way off to Never Neverland. That works too. Silly game. Forty-eight seconds. I'm willing to bet Triangle Hat's going to take this thing. I wonder if we if we smash her down, do we get like, do we get her points maybe? The game like uh, um, don't know. All this big huge cluster of people. Oh. She definitely got knocked out though. Yeah, we definitely got racked. Definitely got racked. Oh my gosh. Okay. A new stance, though. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove bots. Go back to something a little bit less crazy. Done for that. Um... I wonder if that means that if people join, it won't choose bots first. Interesting. So let's go to her stance. Whoa. I don't like the fact that dexterity goes towards strength. Okay, so I, I want the dex stance because it seems to be pretty good. And again, guys, this is free on Steam. You can download it. If you're on our friends list, you can use the room code to join in. Um, I'm having a blast with it. I think it's a good game. Come on, little dark elf. I was really hoping that the elf was going to get Valkyrie off, but oh well. And I do think it's cool that you can throw your, your primary or secondary weapon, whichever you have, and actually pick it back up pretty quick. Somebody crouch that bomb. There we go. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, you guys can fight it out over there for a little bit. Hmm. I was beating up on the Dark Elf, and then he seemed to overtake me. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was insane. So I got some sort of move I haven't even realized with this attack. Is it like... It's like a smash attack? Oh, and it hits them on the edge. Okay, this is good.
Get away from me. Get away from me. That was cool. Dominating. I'm pretty sure that's an old time Orion. So I do like that move with the gauntlets. That's pretty good. And it does seem like if you attack people that are stronger than you, the game's like, okay, cool. You get more points. Yeah, I'm getting like two for, for taking down some of these people. Yeah, I can't, it can't be. Um, Odin, because he's got an axe. Orion, I mean. So, apparently the huge amount of damage he does with his throw, based upon the amount of damage they have, also. Alright, so we're, we're doing pretty good with this character. Um, definitely, oh, we got a new color coming up too. Alright, in about half an hour, guys, of course, we will be taking a health break. Just like CD Ion Posh is taking a break. And we do that again because health reasons, right? Just, it's better for you that way. And I, uh, I gotta say, I'm really digging this character. We got 1,759 gold. We've been at it for an hour and a half, so we're, we got another half hour. Again, after the break, we're going to take a look at the, the the store and see, you know, this game is free to play. It doesn't seem like it's pay to win. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so when we don't have the gauntlets, what's this uh, really cool special attack we saw earlier? Um, all, right, all you guys just get away for a second. Okay, so we definitely want the gauntlets. Sword and pike users. Ugh. Thor. Okay, so so it looks like they've reused some of the weapons, which I'm okay with. Um, you know, you're going to see some of that. All right, so we got some attacks of opportunity going on here. Alright, 
Looks like, okay. So, good news is we're getting really good with this character. Bad news is it's not really our playstyle. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's interesting. The scythe kind of is. I mean, the scythe lets us sort of pick and choose our hits. But the, the gauntlets definitely don't want us to be who we want to be. So I like that. I like the fact that to play this character effectively, I have to be inside and outside of my comfort zone at the same time. Somebody up on the... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, gauntlets. Wait, I was looking for people to hit with the uh, the throw move that I've got, and I was the name that I saw. That's not good. Upsy daisy. All right, now we got some targets. All right, get away. You next, get away. You get away. You get away. got me owner. Now you don't. Shut down. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. We lost a lot of points doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't wanting to do that. I was trying to get these gauntlets. Alright. Boom. the throw actually hit more than one person at once, but it is what it is. Uh, Water Ninja, good morning, or good evening, or good night, however you want to say it. Hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and we are a family-friendly channel. Glad to have you here. Looks like we're barely going to lose this. All right. Player two wins. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. All right. And we're almost to the next level, so that's kind of cool, too. All right. So, you know, as much as I like this guy, the more I'm playing the game, the more I kind of want to start looking at other characters again, though. So, and this is the first one that I really enjoyed. So we're going to go and look at Cross and uh, get a better idea of how his playstyle plays. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Wu Shang, Sidra, Orion. I uh, don't like Orions, but oh well. Not much you can do about that. Three, two, one, brawl. All right. All right, so here's some gauntlets. Okay, so I, I kind of like the, the demon aspect he's got going on. Okay, so he's got a very similar attack. How he does the, the grab thing. Oh, it's a release attack. So as soon as you release it is when he grabs. Interesting. Does a 
charge also. I don't know, but we're gonna blast the, the horn here. Ooh, that's like a Reaper. Okay, I don't know how that plays out. I mean, the gun attacks are kind of good in this game and kind of not. Um, I mean, I get that you couldn't really make them overpowered because it would be really bad for the player base. I wonder if the down attack is just a grab in general, no matter what. We charged that way too long, and we got punished for it. All right. We definitely want to be rid of those guns. Back to the gauntlets. Go for the ball hollow horn? I think we do. We got a, a gun for our, for our troubles too? Not bad. Falcon Punch! He's kind of a Captain Falcon character when he's got his gauntlets on. I mean, definitely a, a Rushdown character with the gauntlets. I, I kind of feel like he is with the gun, too, which I guess is what makes it so weird. Zero, zero, negative five in a minute and a half to go. I think we can still do this. Alright, so I kind of like that setup. Rush down, down B, grab. Alright, it's not bad. That's not bad. Gauntlet's knocked out. Do kind of hurt because there's not much you can do without the gauntlets with this character. And pistol should be our next. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Alright, so come down here, rush down, down B, grab. Throw a gauntlet, throw a bomb, throw guns, throw a bomb. Look for gauntlets, grab gauntlets, okay. Ah. No, no. A hollow horn. Bomb. Gauntlets. I don't even know what I was doing in that animation cycle. Interesting. Brown. So we'll take a look at Brown. I mean, what can Brown do for you, right? Make you cooler, possibly. Boom. Not bad. Not bad. I, I think I'm still going to... Stick with the green. Wait, what? Oh, he's got different colored packs. Also, oh. Interesting. All right, we'll go back to Leprechaun.
Jiro, Bryn, and Sidra. So Jiro and Bryn I'm not too familiar with. Three, two, one, Another thing that I do like about this game that I've noticed is... Um, to say it lightly, I get to see what my connection is at all times. Okay, so his gauntlets uh, definitely about the same strategy-ish as the wolf dude. And his little dark grab has a pretty good range. Definitely got to get in and, and do some, some, some beats, though. Got to get some points. Gotta be careful when I'm going for that combo too, because just the wrong button can push me right into the pit afterwards. Ooh, that was cool. Alright, so we're gonna have to jump in here. Nah, which is not not healthy. Ah. Come on! Give me a give me some guns so I can throw them away. I didn't want to catch them after. Oh, oof. All right, my hollow horn. Everybody run away. Here's my gauntlets. Personally, I, I think his gauntlets are better than his gun. I mean. It's mainly because the, the demon seems to do better with the gauntlets. Oh, it's facing so the wrong way for that. Uh. Stand still so I can just smash you guys. That's what I was talking about right there. That 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 uh, down X slash A move. If I hit B by accident, I'm I'm toast. And his rush is seems to want he seems to want to like juggle when he rushes so. Oh, that was good. That was really good. With a minute 26 left, that was... I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that all the way to the bank. No more comments for me. Alright. Guns, get away. Gauntlets, hooray! Oh, 50 seconds. Now we go back to the gauntlets. Get out of the fray, get out of the fray. Where am I? Oh, other side, okay. All right, we got to grab this Valkyrie away with her. Oh, wait. Valkyrie Horn. That might get us a good knockout. Okay. 
Ugh. Okay, I think we're good. Why with the guns? Why not? In the slow clap, guys. I mean, the fact that the the bots are even slow clapping for me is kind of funny. Check it out, Digret. Slow clap. I won. I did. You'd slow clap if I want to. Uh, uh, that's love right there, guys. It's love right there. All right, so we we didn't level up the character yet, so we're gonna keep going to see what the next level up. And remember, guys, in about ten minutes we'll be taking a health break. Uh, maybe a minute or two before, maybe a minute or two after. It just kind of depends upon how everything lays out. With five minute rounds, it should be right about ten, so. Alright, the superhero dude is kind of out of character, right? Alright, alright. Oh. This stage, which I hate. Oh. Oh. Alright. Boom, 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 bash, boom. Ah, bash, grab. Come on. I'm actually hitting him so hard that he's actually getting outside of the combo range. That's that's sad. Alright, there we go. We got that first strike bonus. We got that. Oh, he's got weapons now, huh? So I wonder if it's to our benefit or detriment to attack people that have the lower score. I guess in the grand scheme of things, we really don't care because if it's you know one point or two points, as long as we're knocking the snot out of them, we should be okay. He's got a giant hammer afterwards. Alright. Oh, we got two points for hitting him, too. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on with the score. Maybe we just get two points for a KO, period? Alright, elf bows, which we discovered very early on we didn't care for. Alright, so now we're in this bad spot where we got guns and we want to get rid of them. So we can get our gauntlets back. Come on, Bow Wilder. All you can do is this weird, really, really crazy, strange trick shots. Falcon! Punch! At least that's what it looks like to me. Oh, wow. Maybe he's more like Ganondorf. I mean, I could, I could see that. that. Did I get the elf? I got the elf. Awesome. Wow, I'm just thinking of the score right now, and I don't even have to get into the middle of that. I'm, I'm seven to negative two. All right. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I think that that should have been a better hitbox. Oh well. Dominating. Interesting. So it's clearly kind of the anti-platform attack. Nice. Ember. 
Which makes me think of a whole different thing than what this game is trying to go for, because I uh, watch a lot of the magicians, and Ember's like one of the the deities in that show. But they're a, a satyr beast instead of an elf. I do like the fact that he's got like this throw thing in midair, like grab and throw people. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. That was that was going bad. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, 15 seconds. Throw these. Grab them. Oh, I was going to throw the gauntlets and grab the bomb. Okay, that'll work. Valhalla. Boom. All right, guys. That's the GG there. Next there. Actually, we got inside. I still don't know what Inspect does. I guess it's if I wanted to look at people's stuff, maybe. So I got a new stance unlocked. So we're going to check what his new stance is. Okay, he gets Dexterity at the cost of attack power. Don't quite care for that. All right, so we're going to back out, guys. We're going to go to the store, and we're going to take a look here. So we got gold, uh, 2077 specifically. This blue stuff, I don't see. Okay, so new characters for gold. Anything else for gold? What's this? Glory. Each ranked season. Oh, there's ranked. That's right. Okay. Well, guys, we are coming up to our health break. I think we're going to go ahead and take the health break. Um, so we will be back in about five to ten minutes at most. Uh, so, guys, um, thank you for watching. We're going to leave it here for just right now. We're actually going to go into the custom game room. Create the room so we'll have the room code. Okay, Shane. Here's what I found. And see what else we can find. Game rooms, match time eight minutes, teams off. I think we're gonna go stock. I think this is where we're gonna leave it at. Alright, so let's find out what the game code is, and we'll put that in there. Nine two eight four zero. Scroll down to YouTube. Bam. Bam. All right. And we will be back in 10.05 oh, at the latest.
All right, guys, we are back. We have us a snack. We've got ourselves exercised a little bit. Digrep made us some pot stickers. So I will be able to grab a couple of them in between rounds of combat, which will be awesome. All right, so we, uh, we got the room number. We got the bots. We got everything else going here. I uh, So Cross definitely I like. And I, I was pretty sure I'd like him just because the the you know the look. Supposedly one of the best things about this particular game that I've been told by a couple people is you can be pretty confident that if a guy looks cool to you, then he'll probably play cool to you. Now I don't know how well that goes to everybody else, but this dude, you know, he he looks cool to me. I mean, I like the whole 1950s era mobster movies and all that kind of stuff. So he definitely is awesome. Um, I am. Both happy the fact that we can get characters for more money. Um, so it's the... Okay. Still learning what all these controls do for this. I mean, it's like context sensitive, sort of. And the trigger... Yeah, it's still weird. Alright, so we'll go to green. Stick on green. And we'll go manage. Add some bots done all right more decks we know more d3x interesting Three, two, one, so oh, oh so we definitely do know that one thing that all the characters pretty much seem to oh Oh, come on now. We were we were not expecting guns at first. We wanted gauntlets at first. There's got to be a way we can kind of change that up, but... I'm really curious what the other weapons do, because the, the weapons are selectable, and I'm getting the idea that the weapons are actually are, are move-based, so... Like, for this character, I wouldn't mind double gauntlets. Oh, we're on stock battle. Whoops. At least we don't get the weird, crazy stock math. So that's that's a bonus. I think it's worth it. I like how the Valkyrie attack both clears the way a little bit for you. And also, um, while you're dealing with that, drops a weapon. So if you have a weapon nearby like what we did, we could rotate through it by throwing our weapon, calling the Valkyrie, grabbing the next weapon, throwing it, and then grabbing the weapon that's dropped by the Valkyrie. All right, come on. Come on. Keep us in the orange. Yellow is fine. You know, not, not red, though. Definitely not dark brown. Dark brown's bad. Dark brown's way bad. Okay. Oh. Rough. Dominating. Okay, we lost our gauntlet, so... Throw our gun away. Well, I'll try that again, shall we? Oh, okay. Now we got some goblets. Did I get him? All right, so all we have to do now is... Well, that might actually work. All right, GG for us, guys. Sweet. And here we go. One win. Awesome. And victory dumpling.
All right, Victor dumped them there. And just want to point out some of the best soda that I've ever had, guys, out of the state of Kentucky is L8. It's a ginger soda, and it's really good. Okay, we do know that triangle had someone to be scared of. So if there's anyone we're going to focus fire while they're off by themselves, it's Triangle Hat. Just so we can get them gone. Oh, it's Raymond! Alright, hey, here we go. Poster child for Ubisoft. Also known as the mascot bag. Come on. Still over here with three. We're going to have a pre-victory dumpling. Alright, we got to look alive. They were off beating on each other. And we let them do exactly what they wanted to do which was leave us out of it, and we're fine with that. Anyone got red? All right, Raymond's red. All right, ooh. Raymond's fresh now. buddy glad to see you we're just playing some free good old awesome about brawlhalla here raymond catch that someone else catch my pistols we'll grab our gauntlets all right so we're gonna do the same thing we talked about we're gonna ah We, we were hoping it was going to not have anybody else grab our stuff, but they did. I guess it technically wasn't ours. Of course, Triangle Hat's the only person that I managed to grab with that attack. And they also not only the only person we grab with it, but they're the only one that isn't going to get smashed out by it. Grab the horn. Call forth Valhalla. Grab the gauntlets to come. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. Bam! All right. There we go, Turtle Club. There we go. All right. Fun game so far. I got to say, it's a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Stacked on that victory dumpling, and now we go. Is that a? Oh, that's 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 not me doing all the fisticuffs. That's the werewolf. Uh, uh. There we go. Now we got our we got our gauntlets of awesome. So I did notice that um, Hellboy from the movie is actually one of the characters in this game, and that's kind of cool. Um, they do the you know the TV crossover thing, the movie crossover. I think that's a good thing for Ubisoft to have this game and to be open for 
just adding characters to it. Ah. Uh. I'm without my gauntlets, though. All right. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Ah, yuck. But, land of the gauntlets. Oh. Meanwhile, this other person with, like, the cyber gauntlets seems to be pretty good, too. Looks a lot like Danny Phantom. He's a phantom. Doesn't have anywhere near the cool stuff that Danny Phantom had, though. Call forth the Valkyrie! And... It's one to one to one to two. And I can pretty much take one of these guys and maybe finish him out. Oh. Did I get them both? Yeah, all right. Awesome. GG for these guys. Another victory dumpling. Well, um, huh. Let's, let's, uh, check something here. I kind of like the... The quick... Hmm. His base stance seems to be pretty just good all around. So I guess we'll keep up with that. Don't forget Turtle Club today at 3 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be going to the wonderful world of Ark Survival Evolved. We're going to be moving our base today. And that's our... It's part of the... we got the basic build down, so... we still got to get things like, you know, electricity and all that hooked all the way up. And water. But... Getting stuff moved across is going to take forever. So it's going to be a pretty chilled stream. We do have a couple of extra floors to build. So we'll be building those as we go back and forth. gauntlets that's not good and we are all getting kind of wrecked oh that was Azoth what a name
And Aidsoff is out of there. Dominating, but then shut down. All right, that's the way we want to hear it. I think we're just going to let them fight it out amongst themselves until one of them gets to dangerous levels. Looks to be Azoth. He's tricky, though. It's right where we want to grab, possibly. And then get in and get out. Ah. I do like the witch character, though. I mean... The character designs, as, as Sally pointed out earlier today, definitely interesting. Unique, colorful, you definitely kind of know who's who and doing what what, right? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe we, maybe we, no, no, maybe, 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 maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. Call forth Valhalla, wreck people, grab this, throw my guns down, go back for my gauntlets. Oh, no, no you don't, no you don't. There we go. Did we get him? Oh. Well, we got her. Got him. All right. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Another dumpling. So Turtle Club, so far, I gotta think that this game here is is definitely one of those games that. Oh YouTube, you moved me to Three, top chat two, when I was on break. One, Why'd four. you do that? the assassin character is kind of cool. Alright. Call down that. Grab these guns. Ugh. Come on. Grab these guns. Put the guns away. Go back to gauntlets. Ah, oh, Wrong button. Oh. So not good. Just got spiked like a volleyball. All right, a Tory, what a name! That's a real good place to trap people. I I gotta admit that was a real good place to trap somebody. Spiked her off the edge. I don't know if I'm dominating game, but thinking I'm the same. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, she's 
Maybe that's what I'm missing. Like, I feel like there should be some sort of, like, ultra-secret super ultimate attack. I'm not seeing that on any of these characters. You know, because Smash has the Smash Ball. I mean, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat have their, like, really good abilities, too. I think that's maybe what's, like, missing in this game. It's something that just makes the characters 100% unique. Like, not a weapon-based attack, but, like, just a character. Like, no, doesn't just even care about the throw. Get it? All right, Demon Cross. Bam. I like this stage because the platforms all rotate and stuff. That wasn't good. That should at least. Boy, he's got he's he's not safe on that attack at all. Okay, the elf is definitely or not it's not an elf, it just looks like an elf. Sneaky, sneaky there. Oh, we just got smacked. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Time, I guess. Is that Thor? Is that who that's supposed to be? I don't know. He's got a sword. There's only Zul.
Oh, the stage got me on that one. There we go. All right. And there we go for the last of the Victory Dumplings, guys. Well, uh, Turtle Club, we are out of viewers. We are out of dumplings. So I think we're probably out of time. We got one person watching, which is myself. Um, this has been fun, though. I really like this game. Uh, it is free on Switch. I think it's something that we could probably play on, on weekends uh, more often. To be honest, because it lets people that have Nintendo Switch Online play more so. That way they only have to worry about the, the cost for the online service and not to actually go out and pick up a game afterwards. So, guys, this has uh, been fun. This is our actual community Friday night. We're going to be choosing some more games to play as time progresses on. We'll be looking for uh, requests. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Keo. Wow. Thank you for that donation, man. Um, found the Korok there. It doesn't show that he's watching, though, so I'm kind of curious um, if Keo's just kind of watching low-key and lurking. I wish it would show us the lurkers more. Uh, but, guys, this is a fun game. I, I definitely it's one I want to be able to play with some people um, as we progress forward. But, guys, it is a holiday on this Sunday that some of you may or may not celebrate. Uh, we want to make sure that you are aware that there will not be any shipwreck Sunday this Sunday. We do not want people to have to choose between their faith, their religion, uh, their family, and our channel. And so the only way that we think that's just fair to do that is just we will abstain from streaming that day. Uh, that way you guys can actually spend time with your actual family. Uh, but guys, have a good weekend. Uh, I'm going to have myself a, a good break. Uh, at 3 o'clock, we will be going back to the World of Arc. Again, it's going to be a real laid-back, chill stream while we do some stuff. And tomorrow morning at Saturday, on uh, Saturday 7 a.m., bright and early for a buffet, is Hyrulean Bassmasters. We have to catch some fish so we can beat the game by doing 100%. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to Keo for that donation. Uh, Zekara for showing up. Water Ninja for popping in. Hero One Michael, I haven't seen him in a while. Glad he showed up as well. CD Island for popping in and playing with us. Sally and T Mac Music, uh, both of our actual sponsors, coming in and saying hello today as well. And McAdoo, who is one of our, our huge uh, ARC fans. Uh, we did have a new viewer. It looked like a J-Man Gill. Uh, thanks for him showing up as well, or her. They just cited hi and kind of left. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's been fun. Um, we definitely like the game, and we think it might be something that we play a bit better. But guys, thank you for watching, and have a good one. Take care.